fans, how are you feeling? What, what's your summer been like? And what, what kind of is next for you? And then what are you going to try and do in the fall? Well, I'm going to try for the fall. I'm going to try to try to do a full schedule. I mean, that's um, <clears throat> right now. I have been uh, off the chemo for uh, seven weeks as of today. So I actually feel a little better. I can finally start to taste some things for a change. <laughs> I know how much as you like to different. eat. That's important. <laughs> yeah, I know, but I'm down 50 pounds. How, uh, what's your weight now, roughly? Uh, they want me to stay under 230. So I've been staying right around. 225. That's what I, I 225 is what I weighed when I was a junior in high school. That's what I was going to ask you, yeah. So it's been a while since I've been here. But my clothes fit better. <laughs> <laughs> don't go on the chemo diet. I don't suggest it. Right. But, um, yeah, I'm still going to need a heart. And so we're still in that process. I'm listed at the Mayo out at Cedar sinai and I'm in a process right now of uh, getting listed <clears throat> at St. Barnabas in North Jersey. So, so um, you can do it different places regionally and so that's what I've been doing and uh, but I feel I feel pretty good right. been staying pretty active and yeah, so far so good right so you definitely are gonna you you're gonna need a uh, heart transplant that's sure. what they tell me right so and I'll tell you the same thing I told the last doctor like when he came in and he said you're gonna need a heart I'm like let me tell you something my heart at 30 percent is better than yours at 90 percent and we both start laughing yeah and he he actually said there's some truth to that you know based off of your years of training and all that mm -hmm. kind of stuff. So, you know, I just just take it as it comes. Sure. So. Sure.